Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 8 of my full platinum walkthrough for South Park and the Stick of Truth. Right, we are going to be doing the penultimate story mission this time around. This is going to be Forging Alliances. This is quite a long video. It's pretty much all the the story mission. We do a few side things and get just a bit prepared for the, the, um, the next video, which is going to be the final mission, which will lock a lot of things out. Now, we're actually not going to finish Forging Alliances by actually signing off. What we're going to do is... Um, just before we need to go and set up for the final mission because there is a point of no return and we'll do that at the start of the next video so what i want to do is go to kyle's house so we left off stood in front of it at the the next uh, the previous video when you get there there's going to be a cut scene and then uh, cartman and kyle will become your buddies and uh you'll also get a friend request from kyle so that's story related don't worry about that that's going to happen go down here speak to chris donnelly he's just a random guy he'll become your friend now and then Dog Poo, because we got all the banners in the previous video, or up to that point we'd got them all, he's going to become your friend as well once you turn that in. So we're going to get a quick trophy out of the way on our way to our next point here. We're going to be going to, uh, to go and speak to the girls. We'll get just saying hi out of the way. Now that we can do that, we couldn't do it before. We basically need to fart on every buddy that we have. So we'll do that shortly. You can't change buddies in this uh, back garden, so we'll do it afterwards. Just realised I've not done perks for a while, so I'm just doing that. There aren't... They're just... I don't know. They're fine, but just choose one that kind of suits you. Additional damage, uh, damage to burning enemies is going to be good. Because we're going to be using Cartman now a lot. And he is pretty damn powerful, to be honest. And his main thing is setting people on fire. So that can always help. So from there, we're just going to teleport to our next point. Which is kind of just to the right of... Uh, the town hall here, or well, the closest—I don't know—closest could be the tower actually, but we'll uh, we'll do it here. And then we're going to go through and fart on every single one. So it's probably easier to use dragon shout, just the straight one, and stand in front of them and do it. Once they make a, a comment, switch to the next one. So we'll go for butters there onto Kenny. He's run away, so that's good. Onto Stan. And then Jimmy. <laughs> Kyle. And then finally we will uh, do it on Cartman and we'll keep Cartman around because he is he's it's almost like he's overpowered. There you go. Just saying hi. You can do that at any point, but this is the first point we're able to do it. Another thing you may want to start doing or I don't know, we're going to do it all later on anyway, but it's just start farting on random people can help. You have to do it to 100. You can do it to 100 times to the same character, so it doesn't really matter. We're just going to keep doing it anyway. So go and uh, speak to this girl here, and she's going to take you to the secret girl area. There's going to be a cutscene, which I'm obviously going to skip here. We don't need to watch that. And then you'll be taken back to the town hall. And at this point, we need to go to the... Uh, the kids playground and kind of set this girl up <laughs> you know how it is well actually you probably don't i don't <laughs> uh, al along the way if there are any nazi zombies like there are up here take care of them this is actually quite important because once we go into the next uh, main mission nazi zombies will disappear uh, i think yes yeah, jimmy's house will uh, become unavailable and also the um the government facility taco bell That'll be come all unavailable as well. Another trophy we'll be working towards is um, getting Cartman to fart on... I think it's kill 20 or knock out 20, 20 or 30 enemies with uh, with his fire fart there. So just keep doing that as well. You can farm all things like that after the story, so don't worry, it's not missable. Just uh, start working on it now. Try and knock enemies out with his... Uh, his fart one there. There's a cat. You can also fart on uh, animals as well if you see them, because we need that for a trophy. But again, they'll be at the end of the story. You can do it. So uh, if you do see a cat or a dog or something, just fart on it. <laughs> we'll uh, start closing things up now. There's just going to be this video, then the final mission, which will be the next video, and then we will be doing a clean up. So hopefully, we'll be all done by the tenth video. Because we've been cleaning up as we go, there isn't going to be too much. It's basically just going to be the sewers and um, whatever else we've not done up to that point, which is 
pretty much everything. Do the final few uh, hunting, which is down in the sewers anyway. Another Nazi ring there. We do actually, this is kind of split into two. Um, this main mission's into two, so we need to go into the abortion clinic and we need to go up to Canada. The first bit we're doing here is the abortion clinic. There are Nazi zombie fetuses. <laughs> Um, they will also potentially drop the ring as well. So go over to the kids park, speak to the, um, the girl on the bench, and then you'll go into this fight with this kid. The boyfriend, he's not difficult, so just give him the normal circumcise and then uh, finish him off with a Cartman fart, and that's pretty much what you're going to be doing. Depending on how many enemies there are, this is the easiest way, or it seems to be one of the quicker ways to get rid of them all. Especially that burning cloud, it's ridiculously powerful. Because it doesn't just hit one of them. There you'll get Monica as a friend that is story related, so that will happen. And now we need to return to Annie, so there's a bit of back and forth with the uh, the girl's place. Which is, actually we just walked past it. <laughs> it's that bathroom there. So I'm going to go back to the town hall. And then run over, and then you go and speak to them again. There's going to be another cutscene, and then we need to go. Yeah, this is the point where we do the the makeup, uh, the makeover, rainbow makeover or something. So that you go back again. There's going to be a cutscene, and then we're going to go into rainbow makeup. What is it called? Makeover, and we need to put some makeup on and things like this. Now this is actually quite important for the end, for the final mission, because we do need to wear this stuff for the final kind of boss section. There's quite a lot of setup we need to do. We need dire aids, we need to look like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> I don't know. We need to have all that stuff ready, uh, but we'll do that at the beginning of the next video, that kind of set up, make sure everything's done. Um, with regards to missable stuff, it will all be finished. Uh, by the end of this video, but the setup for the final mission will be the beginning of the next one. So I, do, I don't think it actually matters. I've just gone for. I don't even know what that look is. I, I've obviously not bought many uh, women's clothes before, girls' clothes before, but that's kind of what we're going for. It's just random. You just choose whatever. So there you go. And then Jesse will become your friend. That's kind of a cutscene. It just carries on, and then this is the next point. You'll uh, you'll be in control. So we'll uh, add another one to the Plagues of Egypt. No more perks. So we'll speak to the receptionist, then you can go straight in for the abortion. There is something you want to grab here. Not in the this drawer, the next drawer's along. This one, this is all missable stuff, so make sure you grab it. The poison grenades, that is gross. <laughs> so make sure you get those, and then go into the operating room. You get another cutscene, another one that we can't watch because we're in Europe, so obviously we're going to skip that. The fact that they have a booster seat for abortions is just the most... I Probably, I don't know, <laughs> that's awful. Anyway, grab the... Um, Surgical stuff, this is needed. Obviously, this is the surgical set. You need it for the trophy, but it's also part of the story, so we need to put it on. So as soon as you grab it, put it on. It's our disguise. Even though we're carrying a big sword around. And then we'll go into the, um, the records room. A couple of things on the side here. Some pubes, never know when they come in handy. The syringe and then uh, go to the box there's going to be another cutscene and then you're going to be locked in here and then we need to shrink down and uh, escape basically I do change back at this point but I forgot you do actually need to uh, to change back again into your uh, your, your gear so you don't need to change for this part, you should be fine, because you can actually skip most of these far uh, fights, I need to say farts, I've been saying that word far too much. Um, hit the pipe, that's going to get the attention of the soldier, he's going to finish the rats off.
And the fetus in a jar, because why not? If you hit the pipe again when the gnomes are there, you'll just kill the two that are at the front. This one you won't, you'll have to fight him, but I mean, it's going to be easy enough. This is the only fight uh, down here. I'll hit him with a quick circumcise. Pretty much dead in one. I think he might actually die after the... Yeah, he does. <laughs> Dies after his turn. I think one of these is the one that drops... Yes, there, the Nazi ring. So one of them does drop it. And then most importantly, look at the bottom of the screen there. You can just kind of make it out. There is the uh, the Master Razor in that bag thing there. So make sure you grab that. That is missable. So once you leave this, you can't come back. Fart on that electrical wire to blow it up. And along we go. Don't worry, it's not too bad this time. <laughs> Last time we dropped out of a plug socket... Uh, all hell kind of broke loose. But yeah, we need to actually change back here into the uh, surgical stuff to uh, keep our disguise up. But after that, we can take it off again. I'm trying to find it. It was only... <laughs> it's actually further down now. It was a lot further up before. There it is. And then uh, start the cutscene off. You'll need to perform an abortion <laughs> on Randy. And then you'll leave. The all hell will break loose again. And the butters will drop in through the vent. And then, uh, yeah, we're uh, carrying on. So you got these. Yeah, I'm going to switch back now. I think you actually get some extra damage against fetuses if you're wearing that gear. But I'm not bothered. We're going to be uh, hitting them hard enough anyway. So hit one to start this off. I, you don't need to start this fight off, but we're just going to get a trophy out of the way here. You will be fighting some others later on. But this isn't going to take two minutes. And one of these actually drops a ring as well, the fifth ring. So you should be round about on five. If not, you should be pretty much done by the time you leave this mission. With regards to rings. So we'll turn those in because they are that is a missable side quest. So grab the ring, if one did drop one. And then you want to fart on one of these things. <laughs> so yeah, just stand in front, fart on it. And you'll get the trophy too far. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. So that is a missable trophy because that is the only time these things are available. Once you leave this unplanned parenthood, uh, that's it. They are gone forever. We need to uh, hit this vent up here and climb up. And this is the way out. Why can't you just leave us alone? Couple of easy rats. Easy. Oh no, nearly nearly one hit kills then on both of them. Unfortunately, Butters doesn't have a, a sort of uh, all in one. The only thing he does do is that Professor Chaos, but uh, it just takes so long to <laughs> do it that you just sometimes you can't be bothered. I'm not sure what happened there. What happened there? Oh yeah, this is it. Where I just did one damage. I'm not quite sure what happened there. How did I only do one damage? That was that was odd. I didn't miss the timing. It was fine. Anyway, doesn't matter. On we go. Just run all the way through this vent. Ignore all these little mice. And out the other side. That obviously tells you that you cannot walk across there. Uh, it's a bit difficult to get up here. You need that little ramp. It's a bit weird. There we go. Uh, nothing in particular, but there is a revive. That can always come in handy. 
And then we'll just get this chin Pokemon. You can see over there that pink thing in the corner. So hit this hand grenade in his hand. That's going to make room for us to get through. And grab the Fita Swami. <laughs> You can see there that the next thing I'm doing is befriending Sergeant Yates, who is the police uh, chief. So that means we're going to be returning in the mission. That's the next thing we'll do. We'll need to turn the water off here. And then we'll use this pipe. To drop the light on the turret. And we have a, uh, a fire. Whoops, don't know what's going on there. We have a fire, so you know what that means. you got a fart on it. You'll uh, always have to use copper spell. There we go. Otherwise you will miss another fetus fight. I think there's three of them this time. Oh no, four. When there's four, we'll go for the uh, the plagues. So it does say they're weak to it there. They are quite weak to this plague, so just hit them with everything. That's quite it's actually quite a good one. The left on the D-pad is the uh, that, that final one there that missed. And then uh, we'll finish them off with a Professor Chaos. It does actually go well. We do get the perfect one for speed. <laughs> One, what's it actually called? I don't actually know what it's called. Chaos Blast. That would have one shot them all anyway. So, yeah, you should get. If you don't have enough rings, you probably will have now. So, after a cutscene, once you go through the door. There is going to be a, another fight. <laughs> uh, I think it's was it Chloe Kardashian's been in, and this is what's left behind. Um, the tail here is actually separate. The umbilical cord is actually separate, so you'll need to take care of that first. Otherwise, it just keeps healing the fetus itself. So just go for that. It will sneak up behind you and steal your health as well. It's a bit of a pain. The timing's really... Yeah, just all of a sudden it's there and it grabs a load of health off you and heals the, uh, the fetus. So that's why you need to get rid of it first. I'll give it some bleeding. Just one more. I think it comes up behind again. The vomit, that's gross. Did block it. See, even when you do block it, it still takes a lot of health from you. I'm going to cure Butters. He needs it. Sling. I was in hoping it would uh, kill them both, and it does, which is good. So now we can just pour everything into the fetus itself. I've never actually listened back to what I'm saying here. <laughs> fetus, farting on the fetus. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I suppose that's exactly what they're going for. Uh, we've got some pee pee. Yeah, we got some pee pee. By the hammer of butters. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, nearly finished. 
one more from it. There we go. Killed itself. Good. Whew. It does take a while. It doesn't drop anything, but that does mean that unplanned parenthood is finished. We are completely done with that. We can't go back in there now. That is done. So we are going to go and uh, finish this off, really. Which involves going off this way. I should have turned in the police thing there. I was thinking of doing it, but we'll, go, we'll just go and turn this bit in with the girls first. The girls want to thank you for you. All right, then, let's go. So go see the girls again. And we are not done with them yet. So we need the second part of this mission we're kind of moving on to now, which is going up north, basically up to Canada. So cutscene. Talk to the boys. So we need to go back to Kyle's place now. I do actually want to go this way. Fart on the cat, if you remember to. Uh, what we're going to do is just set up another trophy here as well. Uh, I decided to do it now. Uh, it's called Truth to Power. Uh, you need to fart on four different figures, specific figures throughout South Park. So we're going to do those now. This is the mayor, Mayor uh, McDaniels. Yes, yeah, McDaniels. Uh, fart on her, make sure they say something, make sure it counts, do it a couple of times. These ones aren't missable, the first three I'm doing now. I'm setting it up because we go to the, the missable one in Canada. Uh, the next guy is this one, the Priest Maxi, so fart on him. Um, in Canada there is a missable one, so if you don't get the trophy in Canada it means you've missed one here. So uh, it's good to have missed one here as opposed to the one in Canada. So we've just got two there. There is a third one I'm going to do in a moment. I'm just going to turn in this to Sergeant Yates. He's going to become our friend. And um, So yeah, if you haven't got all the Nazi rings, go and get them now. Uh, definitely by the end of this video, go and get them and turn them in. Because Nazi zombies will disappear. The final figure we need to fart on is Principal Victoria. So go and do that. Uh, the final non-missable one, that is at least. So there's just four. And then uh, we'll go and speak to... No, we don't. That's right. We don't. I was going to go and speak to the boys. No, we're going to go and do Man Bear Pig Claw. So get that done. You may have seen it pop up while you've been doing this. You will have seen that he's, uh, he's around again. So if you go next to the church, he's going to be around. And we'll just get him done. This is his side quest complete once you take him on. He does have a lot of health. Nearly 20,000. You should be completely fine, though. And then we'll go and speak to the boys and move things forward. So, yeah, like I said, we're just closing things up now uh, as we kind of go in. There'll just be a couple of side quests left, but they're not missable. Uh, it just involves us going in the sewer, so we'll do that in the cleanup step. Probably not 100% necessary to heal him here, but uh, he does seem to hit quite hard. It's definitely not Al Gore in a mask. <laughs> it is a real man bear pig. And for some reason, he just takes the helmet. I don't know what that's about. He just takes the helmet off and throws it after a certain amount of health is gone. He does move quite well on those stilts, though, doesn't he? And then I think we'll go for the finish with Butters here. There is a zombie next to me, so you, I'm just going to quickly pick something up. There is the man-bear-pig claw, which he does drop. I'm going to pick it up and quickly run away because there's a zombie right next to me. And the cats as well. So grab that, loot his body, and then uh, make a run for it. And then we'll walk to the boys' place. So over to Kyle's house. Fully upgraded, so we can now do four. Every time we use that, we can do four of them. So all four of them, or a combination, doesn't matter. So speak to them. We're going to go. have to go and get a photo for our passport, which leads to... Another, I, I want to say it is funny, but it really isn't. If you think about this in the real world, I can just imagine it really does happen. 
So we need to actually go to Photo Dojo to get a photo. This is the first time I've actually been there. I want to switch back to Cartman because he's better. Yes, yeah, the first time we've actually done anything in here. There was nothing to actually find in here. You'll need to speak to him. And then uh, we'll go into the photo shoot. Step between the lights, please. That's great. And quite okay, quickly, smile. you're going to realize that things aren't what they seem. So do, just do change outfit. Uh, don't do keep no, current outfit because no just do out. change. Uh, remove shirt. I'm sure you can tell what's kind of going on here now. So just keep, whenever he tells you, you get the option, just keep removing things. I know it's gross, but uh, yeah, it's commentary. That's what it is. And then you'll realize that that's the photographer. And then we'll just go in straight into a fight, and then we need to fight a pedophile. <laughs> He's just called pedophile. So cut him where it hurts. That's that's a pretty good framing, <laughs> and then uh, fart on him, and that should be more than enough. So do the burning cloud. So keep using burning cloud until you get the trophy for doing all the, uh, the farting on the amount of people that we need to do. So pedophile is down, and then the actual photographer will take our picture. And now we have a passport, which means we can now go to Canada. So just put all the clothes back on, because that's gross. I just realised there is a locker over there, isn't it? I didn't open it up. There's nothing that we need important in there, but there's uh, probably some patches or something in there. If you're ever travelling, Photo Dojo has a great deal on. So we'll just quickly warp up to this. The, any of the edges you can use. Any of the paths leading into the woods you can use to get to Canada, because it's one of those kind of situations where you have roads north, east, south, west, and you just need to go. It's a, a maze, basically. Uh, to get rid of these these rats, you need to fart on them, because of course you do. Corpus spell doesn't seem to work, so you need to actually use the uh, the basic one. Dragon shout. If you stand too close, you'll kind of get stuck, and they'll you can't actually do anything so the first thing we're going to do is get some friends the woodland friends so you can see there's four paths here so the first route go to the right so east north and then east again and then south and then finally east and that's going to take you to the squirrely friends and you can see there we're going to get a whole load of friends. Bear, berry, rabbity, skunky, beavery, mousy, squirrely, deery, woodpeckery, porcupiney, foxy, chickadee, ee, e, <laughs> and raccoony. So ex just accept the true lord. Just do that. And then they will all become your friend one after another really quickly. And that's uh, a whole bunch of friends we have there. So we're up to 86 now. Another perk unlocked. We should actually be over 86, no? No, 86. That's a weird number to unlock a perk on. I will do it, but... Um, I mean, I, I'm never going to use it. It's up to you if you... Whatever you put it in, really. As long as you have a full one, then it doesn't matter where the rest go. And here I'm just kind of struggling, yeah, whichever. The healing one will do. And now we'll go to Canada. To get to Canada, it's much more simple. You just go north, 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 north. Just keep heading north. And there we go. Stop, eh? <laughs> so you're going to turn in your passport, which obviously allows you to go to, uh, to Canada. <laughs> Canada, we're going to turn into like a 8 bit, 16 bit um, game because apparently that's how Americans see Canadians. I don't know. I don't get it because <laughs> it's not. Uh, I'm not from America, so I don't obviously get the uh, 
the difference. That's probably bad to say, I don't know. But here we are in Canada. So go to Ottawa first. We can ignore all these. We'll come back to Canada later in the cleanup step because we need to buy uh, lots of equipment and weapons and things like that. So we'll do all that once we're able to sell things uh, because we need to sell things here to get Canadian dollars. We can't use the regular American dollars. So we'll need to sell things here to, to get those. Go and speak to the Prince of Canada. And then we'll go and actually do one of the big game huntings is up here. So we're going to do that. You can see now you have two uh, lots of money. You have uh, American do dollars and you have Canadian dollars now. I always do every time I do this. You can't. You have to exit through the gift shop. So go to <laughs> go this way. There's a chest here. There's nothing important, but get it anyway. You want to get some Canadian dollars. And then you need to accept some photographs. I have no idea why. But just take whichever. Should have gone for the eight by tens. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, leave. And then we're going to head to the overworld map again. And then we're going to head north. Try and avoid the wolves so you don't have to fight them. If you do have to do them, obviously just do that. We're going to have to come up here in the beginning of the next video as well to get dire aids. Because uh, we need to have that for the end of the game. It's uh, a status effect that sticks with you outside of battle as well. You you have to have it cured. So every battle you'll have it, which is good because we want that. So the spider here, we're going to actually try and uh, we'll cut it and then fart on it. And then it does an attack here and it kills Cartman instantly. That's... wow. <laughs> uh, luckily got some revives. So we'll just get him back up on his feet. And we did just do that, that upgrade, so we just get full health. So I suppose it was a good timing. And then we'll... Uh... No, we don't get to... Why does he get another turn? Oh, maybe because Cartman was downed. That would be why. Uh, so once you beat it, you'll get the uh, the Barbarian gloves as well. That's part of the Barbarian set, which will finish off up here. But uh, yeah, we um, obviously we need that big game hunting, number four. The final two are in the sewers, so we'll do those next. Uh, well, in the final video. So we'll come up to Winnipeg now, speak to the Earl of Winnipeg. He's going to ask you to clear out the bears to the north. So that's exactly what we're going to do. They're just up here. They're not on the outside. They're on the inside map. Three of them can take care of them, pet, take care of them pretty easily with our combination. Unfortunately, they do go first. Bear balls. <laughs> and a Canadian greeting, whatever that is. He is grossed out. It's just not worth taking the chance. Remove any debuffs or and heal whenever you need to. And we'll hit them with the plagues of Egypt. So we'll go one, one round the clock. We'll go all of them. Get all those status effects on there. Bleeding, grossed out, fire, all of them on there. And then uh, we'll just finish them off. I don't need to heal him, but it's again, it's just better to be safe. Because his health is so low. And then uh, we'll finish them off with the burning cloud. Get the and you'll get dire bear pelt. Uh, you'll get three of them. It does take a minute for them to all come through. This is where you can see in the bottom corner, on the, the left there. I stop. I'm looking at it here saying I've got two. Why have I only got two? I do actually get three. It just takes a moment for them to all come through. So just check to make sure. Yeah, they're all there. So you'll get three pelts. And then turn those in. And we'll just kind of get moved around Canada a bit more. But the Earl of Winnipeg will become your friend at this point. That is a story, so don't worry. Now we need to go back to the Prince. 
Try and avoid the wolves. So we'll just skip this now. But we need to go up to the Bishop of Banff. Now, he's telling you to kill the Bishop of Banff, which is obviously he's in Banff, which is northwest. Um, we don't want to kill him. Whatever you don't kill him. You need to fight him, but don't kill him. You get the choice to take some uh, pig testicles instead. That's exactly what you want to do, because if you don't and you kill him, he won't or can't become your friend. So just uh, avoid that snake. You can just run past it and uh, run all the way. So I'm going to save my game here just in case anything goes wrong. I'd say you do the same as well. I'm just going to get the uh, the weapon, the discus of bleeding first. It's just up here. Hit this pot. Hit this pot. There you go. <laughs> Gonna open this secret door up and it has the discus of bleeding in here. And then just go up and uh, hit the bishop to start the fight. Who the hell hits a bishop exactly? Um, so, yeah, so I'll start it off. He is quite easy. Well, he's actually very easy. He's just on his own. He does have an annoying tendency to heal himself though. So just keep doing damage to him until you, you push through, basically. You hit with flame strike at this point, because it does take less. So you need to do the three Qs there. And it just basically sets him on fire. It does quite a lot of damage still, but it's singular rather than uh, targeting all. And he completely healed himself there, so we're going to start again. So yeah, obviously it takes um, less PP to do a, a flame strike. <laughs> I think we actually finish him. Do we finish him here? Yeah, I think the, the sling is enough to actually finish him at this point. So once you've defeated him, you'll get the option to spare him. Make sure you spare him. So it's already highlighted that option. Take the pig testicles. Do not finish him off. And he's going to say basically this is our little secret and then he's going to run off and become your friend. He will not become your friend obviously if you kill him. So make sure you don't. Now we're going to run down to Ottawa. We're nearly done in uh, Canada. For now we do have to come back and buy everything. So if you come in here and then you turn them in, um, then the prince will become your friend. And you'll need to just go and uh, help the princess out. The princess is going to come towards you and uh, tell you what to do next. He's going to go behind the prince. <laughs> so she's going to give you a letter. And we'll uh, go and turn that in. So the prince will become your friend because you've killed, or he thinks you've killed the bishop. He'll do it either way. Lots of to and froing up here in Canada. So now we need to go right over to Vancouver. And then head up north to the Duke of Vancouver. Uh, speak to him. He's going to tell you about Terence and Philip who are situated to the south. And then we need to learn a new fart. The final one, which means we can do everything in the sewer after that. So he's going to tell us about the uh, Terence and Philip and become our friend. Just go up here, break this wall down. And you can get the serrated axe of rending along with the barbarian helmet. 
and now we'll go and see Terence and Philip and get that new fart, which is a uh, Nagasaki fart, which <laughs> blows walls up, basically. So cross the little river here. All you need to do is just walk towards it. And then uh, come in here, and you have to do a series of farts, so you can kind of talk to them. Or you could just straight up just start farting on them. So do the regular one. So do Dragon Shout first. Then you'll need to do Copper Spell. Can be quite difficult to hit them. Hey, that definitely hit him, right? He did the jump. Yeah, that one definitely did. And then we need to do a Squeaky Sneaker, Sneaky Squeaker, whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> sneaky Squeaker. And then uh, you'll get the cutscene and we'll go into... They're going to teach you the final one. They just need needed to make sure you were worthy. <laughs> so we'll get a really old reference here. A bit of Matrix. Uh, I'm going to skip the little bit of cutscene here and just move straight to the final part of it, the, the tutorial. So this is when the paedophiles will come along and you have to fart on them. So it's the same as all tutorials. This one's to the sort of nut, uh, down. So it's hold down R. Find the point, which is in the, the south part of the stick, the, the bottom part of the stick, and then press up on the right stick, and then that's it. Once you've learned it, you'll get Terence and Philip as your friend. Now, this is uh, story-related. You have to do that. And then we'll run over to the caves and free. So this guy we're coming towards now, we're going to go, is the... the the final authority figure that we need to fart on for that trophy so we're going to be doing that in a moment so this is the only missable one this is the only opportunity that you're able to do this so i'm just coming here to grab this stuff and then we'll go in here now this is a wall it has like a green aura these are the ones you'll see uh, it can be a bit finicky to do it. You need to kind of hold uh, the right stick up this time. And then you need to tune the frequency using the left stick. Uh, you don't actually fire it off like the other ones. You need to move it around until the screen really starts shaking. And then just hold it there. So once it's like this, when the screen is really shaking, just hold it there. And then eventually it'll blow up. You don't need to press down on the R stick or anything like that. This fight you can't avoid. It's nice and simple. Look all that health we get every time we do damage. It's ridiculous. I think the snakes are actually dead already and we'll finish them off with a burning cloud. So that's another four towards that trophy. Now this chest here has the barbarian armor in it. Just looting the cash, we'll use that later. So you just come around to the chest, open that up, you're going to get the barbarian armor. That's the whole set complete now. And then come down to the, uh, I forget his name actually. Come down here and just fart on him. So use the normal one, Dragon Shout, just make sure it connects. There you go, you're going to get truth to power. Uh, if you didn't get it, then just make sure you definitely keep fighting on him. It'll be one of the other ones that you haven't missed. The Minister of Montreal, that's it. Uh, this is the, That's the only, literally the only point where you can do that in the game. Uh, once you speak to him, he disappears for good. So make sure you do that. And if you didn't get the trophy, maybe just leave. Go and fight on the other three again, which are the Father Maxi, Mayor McDaniels and Principal Victoria. And then come back. Make sure you get that trophy because it is missable. And then uh, you'll get the two friends there. You get the princess and the the minister himself. He'll translate the letter for you, so which means we can now go. We are done with this mission, so we're just going to go in and turn it in. Uh, to get out of this woods, just keep heading south, and you'll end up here, or keep heading west or east. Just keep going in one of the directions, and you'll end up back in the town somewhere. This is actually quite a bit of a pain in the ass. This one, trying to move the rats because the angle. Where I'm kind of stood. If I move too close, they'll uh, 
yeah you can see it sort of moves me yeah. there we go bit of a pain but there you go so I'm just going to use this quick travel I'm going to go back to the town hall make sure you've done the zombies get all the rings turn that one in because they are going to disappear I'll do a final warning at the beginning of the next video make sure you've got everything and I'll show you exactly what you should have left as well. Might as well fart on the cat. Why not? Ready to go back? The so go to see the girls one final time. See, right There'll here, be a cutscene. And then they will all be your friend and join your cause. So that is the mission done. Do not go back to Kyle's house to actually turn in the mission and finish it. Because the next one will start and the end of the game will start. and you, you, You're not quite ready yet. So don't do that. Uh, you'll get Wendy, BB, and Red automatically as your friends. Now just go around the room and speak to the others. You've got Jesse, you've got Nelly. Uh, there's a Chin Pokemon here. The Valkyrie set is in this chest. So make sure you grab in all of this. Shopaholic there is for getting half of the sets through the game. A lot of them you do actually buy, so don't worry. We've not missed any. We're just, there's a lot of them you do buy. Uh, we've got Nelly up there. This one doesn't, I don't think... Just speak to everybody. You've got Nelly, this is Ali Nelson, and then you've got Heidi on the other side of the room. And that's everything. This one here. And that should be you done. We'll come back and buy stuff from the other one later on. Uh, we'll do all that. That's a lot of friends coming through there. All the Canadians. 101 we're up to. So you should, might have another point. You should have another point by now. We'll stick it on there, because why not? I don't know. Uh, yeah, the melee. I don't really use melee. Potions we'll use, because occasionally we do use potions. Get that uh, attack up. Why not? So I'm just going to leave here, and this is where we're going to finish this video. Uh, we're going to go and set up everything for the end of the game in the beginning of the next video. Do that then. So just going to make sure that you finish off the Nazi mission. So the only quests you should have left are the Homeless Problem and Big Game Hunting. They're both in the sewers and then Forging Alliances, which we'll finish later on. So that's it. So put in a save, because we're moving towards the end game. Lots of missable stuff. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.